Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to manage product price with tax mapping in Odoo 16 accounting module. In Odoo, tax mapping refers to the process of associating tax rules with specific products or product categories. Certainly, let's consider a simple example to understand tax mapping. Suppose you have an online stores that sells both physical products and chemical, I mean digital products in your business. You need to apply different tax rate to these two types of products based on the customer's location. So first we have to create a company which is placed in India. So let me create a company for that. You can just get into the settings and we have users and company a tab and choose company. Now let me create a new company and you can give the name of the company. Here you can fill uh, other details. Now let me uh, choose the country. So as you choose the country, the currency will be automatically configured here. Now you can set the uh, state. So here we are setting the state as Kerala. So uh, this company is in India within the state Kerala. So whenever a customer from other state places order, uh, from, the from this company, the uh, order will be moving. So uh, we know that according to the uh, different states, there will be different taxes applied. So let me change uh, the company as Indian Private Limited. Now we have done that. If you want to fill other uh, necessary details, you can fill that. Now let me back and let me get into the accounting module because we have to create taxes in order to apply. So under configuration menu, we can see taxes and let me create different taxes and let the name of the tax be S G S T, which applies 10 percentage. Now you can save that. After that, let me create another tax that is C G S T with a tax of 20 percentage. Okay. Now let's create the physical position. So we have to create the physical position. We can set the name of the physical position as India. And you can also, uh, before that, we need to uh, set uh, the physical localization. So let me go back to the accounting module and under settings, you can set the physical localization. You can save the changes. Now let's back to the taxes. Sometimes the tax won't be available. Yeah. Currently you can see the taxes uh, that we have created. Now let me create physical position. So uh, we can fill other details. Uh, set the physical position name as India and enable detect automatically. And here you can choose the country. So let it be India. And now you can set the federal states. Now you can search uh, for the states that you want to set. So let me uh, select all the states other than Kerala because uh, the company is placed in Kerala and the product will be moving from Kerala. So uh, whenever uh, a customer from other states has placed order, then from SGST to the tax will be changing from SGST to CGST. So SGST and CGST are uh, a type of tax that is uh, applicable in India. Now you can select all other federal state. Now let's uh, do the tax mapping. So for that you can set the uh, SGST to uh, CGST. Now let me uh, save this. After that we can consider a product. So let me uh, consider a product which is uh, cabinet wood door. 
and let me set it as favorite and here you can apply the tax as SGST and let me save this and we need to consider uh, different customers so let me create a customer so uh, let me create new customers that is uh, here you can set the country Here you can set uh, the country as India and you can also set the state. So let uh, this person be ke in ke from Kerala and here you have to set the physical position under the sales and purchase we have uh, a physical information and under that uh, we can set the physical position so you can choose that and let me save uh, all the changes. Now let me create other customer. Now you can set the country as India. And you can also set the state as Tamil Nadu. Okay. Now uh, under this we can set the physical position. So in order to apply the tax mapping, we have to set the physical position for each of the customers. Now, let me go to uh, the customers tab and uh, let's create an invoice. So you can choose uh, the uh, invoice and here let me choose a customer. Let the customer be Raj uh, Dev D. I mean Raj Dev and you can fill the uh, product that is cabinet with door. So whenever you choose a cabinet with door, here you can see that uh, this person is from. Now you can see that uh, when you choose the customer from Kerala, the tax applied will be uh, that of the tax that we have given in Kerala. So uh, SGST will be applying because the, that is the tax that is applied in Kerala. Now let's confirm the invoice. So we have fostered that. Now let's create another invoice with the customer from another state so let me choose uh, Joni Ben as the customer from Tamil Nadu uh, and you can fill the product over here so let's set the product so here you can see that when you uh, choose a customer from other state and choose a product here you can see that the tax has mapped from SGST to CGST because the customer is from another state so that the tax will be moving I mean changing from uh, SGST to CGST so let me confirm this. So here you can see uh, the tags that applied. Uh, and you can confirm the invoice and make payment. Okay, so after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. So this is how Odoo manage tax mapping in Odoo 16 accounting module. So thank you for watching the video.